Good day everyone. I am Captain Ron Irani and before I welcome to you this presentation, let me wish you all a very happy 2021. In this presentation, I will be showing you solutions to problems 7 and 8 on pressure and thrust from Captain Subramaniam's textbook, Ship Stability 1. <coughs> Problem number seven, it states that a collision bulkhead is triangular shaped, having a breadth of 14 meters at the tank top and a height of 12 meters. <clears throat> As a result of a collision, four-pick tank gets ruptured and salt water enters the tank to a sounding of nine meters. Calculate the thrust on the bulkhead. So AB is 14 meters and the depth of the tank is 12 meters. The ship suffers a collision and salt water enters the four-pick tank up to a height of 9 meters. That is until this red line. So, let's see how we can go about solving this problem. Now, there are two similar triangles that we have to consider. The first is triangle ABC and the other one is triangle DFC. In these two similar triangles, we know the heights that is EC and GC. Height EC is equal to 9 meters and height GC is equal to 12 meters. We know the base AB is equal to 14 meters, but we do not know the base, the length of the base DF, which we have to find out. <clears throat> Thus, when we take a simple ratio and proportion, DF upon AB is equal to EC upon GC. Out of these four, three are known to us. AB is 14 meters. EC is 9 meters and GC is 12 meters. Therefore, we have DF is equal to 14 into 9 divided by 12 equal to 10.5 meters. So now we have, now we know the value of DF, 10.5 meters. And area of the triangle DFC is equal to half base into height. That is half Base is 10.5, height is 9, giving us the area of the triangle equal to 47.25 square meters. And pressure we know is calculated at the centroid of a triangle, which is at the point H, which is 3 meters below the base of the triangle DFC. Therefore, pressure is equal to depth into density. Depth is 9 and one third of that will be 3 meters multiplied by density 1.025 giving us pressure equal to 3.075 metric tons per square meter. Thrust we know is equal to pressure into area that is 3.075 into the area which we have calculated above equal to 47.25 giving the thrust equal to 145.3 metric tons. Going on to problem number 8. A tank has a triangular bulkhead, apex upwards. Its base is 14 meters. Now just before we continue, just bef before we continue any further, what does it tell us? A tank has a triangular bulkhead with its apex upwards. I would just like to remind you or rather tell you that whenever there is a triangle involved in ship stability, it is always to be drawn with apex downwards and the base upwards unless it is specifically mentioned in the problem that the apex is up and the base is down just as it is in this problem. 
as you saw in all the earlier problems that wherever we have encountered a triangular shape it is always apex downwards and the base up but in this problem it is specifically told to us that the apex is upwards so we will work on it in that manner a tank has a triangular bulkhead apex upwards its base is 14 meters and its sides 15 meters each. It has a circular inspection hole of radius 0.5 meters. The center of the manhole is 0.8 meters above the base and 1.6 meters from one corner. Find the thrust on the manhole cover when the tank contains <coughs> oil of 0.95 to a sounding of 10 meters. Assume pi to be 3.1416. So here we have a triangular bulkhead, apex upwards, the base is down, the base is 14 meters and the sides are 15 meters each. It's an isosceles triangle. There is a circular inspection manhole. Okay, there is a circular inspection manhole whose diameter is given to us to be equal to one meter or radius equal to half meter. The center of the manhole is 0 0.8 meters above the base. Okay, this is the radius and plus 0 0.3, this is 0 0.8 meters above the base. The center of the circular manhole is 0 0.8 meters above the base. It is located at 1.6 meters from one of the corners of the triangle. So let us work this out. We have to find the thrust on the manhole cover. Now, as I told you before we did problem number one in this exercise, that when you have a circle, the pressure and the thrust has to be calculated for its center. We know the radius is 0 0.5 and its height from the base of the triangle is 0 0.8. Therefore, the height of the, the depth of the center of the circle from the surface of the liquid is how much? 10 minus 0 0.8. That is equal to 9.2 meters. That means from this point where my mouse is located till the red line is 9.2 meters. So pressure is equal to depth into density and the depth as I just calculated for you is equal to 10 minus 0 0.8 equal to 9.2 and multiplied by the density of the liquid in the tank that is 0 0.95 given to us in the problem. The pressure therefore works out to 8.74 metric tons per square meter. Area of the circle is pi r square pi is 3.1416 and r is 0 0.5 which gives us an area of 0 0.7854 square meters. Thrust is pressure into area. Pressure is 8.74 and area is 0.7854 thus giving us thrust at the center of this inspection manhole equal to 6.9 metric tons. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Hope you liked my videos and give me a thumbs up, like, share as well as please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and take care. Goodbye.